What? Uh, what? What the fuck is this shit? This is you and your you and your spring cleaning. Rich, yesterday was the first day of spring. It was fucking thirty degrees out yesterday. But technically speaking, it was the first day of spring. Practically speaking, it was another shitty winter day. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hold on. I'll be right back. Why? You, you, you put on spring cleaning, and then you just leave me alone with it? <laughs> I'm, we got, I, got so, I got so caught up with all the hubbubaloo of getting the stream running, because we ran into some problems that I forgot to get it. <laughs> 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 okay. So, <clears throat> yesterday was the first day of spring. And what do you do in spring? You do spring cleaning. This is so stupid. And uh, so I have a couple cleaning games to play so we can do some spring cleaning. It's a gr it's a uh, my mic died. I might have shocked it. It's a great idea, Rich. It's a great idea. Do 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 do. Real world data. Let's turn that off. Should be this and visceral viscera cleaning detail. This was next. I'm downloading that. Right See. Now. Okay. That's you know it's fine. That's fine. Yeah. I, I I always thought visceral cleaning viscera cleaning detail would have been really funny like after a doom stream. Sure. You know, then sure. then the next day, haha, ha, we're playing playing Viscera cleanup detail. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Okay. So this is a this is a stealth, a top down uh, stealth uh, cleanup after mob hits game. Do 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 do. do. So remember. it's just like Hotline Miami. Uh, it's it's similar-ish <laughs> to Hotline Miami, except for instead of killing all the people, you're, this is cleaning up after Hotline Miami. Is it, what? Oh, I probably should have been paying attention. Is the phone ringing? I think you have to answer a phone. How about the thing you interact? Oh. Right. Hello, is this the cleaner speaking? Is me, how can I help you? Hey, I hope so. Hey, you, uh, hey. you, you come highly recommended, eh? Hey. So, so, so what if I say, uh, what, what did they say about you as trues? This won't uh, be hard. Oh, I do not. <laughs> Whoever gave you this number may have also told you how I operate. All right. Sealed them. I know. Sealed envelope. The whole deal. I was informed. A gray, let's get down to the nitty gritty. <laughs> yeah, let's. There's a, there's a campsite near a uh, lake. Just outside the city limits there, hey. Oh, there's more. There's more. Yeah, he had a body. I didn't notice the screen change. You find two bodies there, plus a gun, and a piece of clothing, a hood, that I need you to remove. Also, expect a lot of blood. You're equipped for that, right? Sure, that's all. Yeah. You got all the info you need, but done. I'll be in touch. All right. Okay. All right, let's rock and roll. I can't use the Godfather voice for um for this guy. Look, he's he's you know he's uh he, oh. Cleaning up the blood. Pre presumably, haven't the cops already taken this, like this blood samples? They, they've already, they're they've probably here. already taken pictures and everything. I mean, you're, you're just too late. I, I suppose uh, this is a valuable physical evidence for the trial. Oh, okay. 
though, so he notices things are different. Apparently. Oh, shit. Can I just run away from you? Yes, I can. Um, is this police quest? No. Will this be the sequel to Serial Fixer? I don't know what that is. Serial Fixer? I'm gonna bet this game will last 30 minutes. Ah, oh, crap. What do I do with bodies? Your, your car? Oh, that's probably a good idea. Nice. Oh my god. Oh! Thirty minutes, maybe. That's pretty. That's a. That, I think that's a fair guess. <laughs> by the way. <laughs> oh, oh, caught. Shit. You're not. You're not hidden behind the tree, apparently, Jack. I. I just noticed that, by the way. We. Oh crap. See, so you start from scratch, huh? That sucks. Uh. Yeah, I could see thirty minutes, but I brought more. I brought more. You know, we have another cleaning game. And just in case all else fails, I have a mystery bag. A mystery bag. I have a mystery bag. You couldn't find a third cleaning game. Uh, I could not find a third cleaning game. So I have two cleaning <laughs> games. <laughs> and then and then the uh, the grab bag. The uh, the grab bag of fun and surprises. So uh, we'll see, you know, we'll see what happens. Hiding under a boat. I see. Uh, so Rich, yeah, did you catch uh, the nin the Nindy Showcase at all? What is the Nindy Showcase? The Nintendo Indie Showcase. No. God, gosh dang it! Why can't he see me behind the trees? I'm behind the fucking trees. Broken, zero out of ten. By the way, I may have I may have changed my opinion on Steam having a glut of titles. I was watching a Jim Sterling put out a video today. Okay. Uh, about this game called I forgot what it was called uh, Tales of Blossom or Blossom Tales. Okay. It sold twenty times more on the Switch than it has on Steam, and a large part of the blame is being put on its hard to find quality indie games on Steam. Because there's so many shitty ones. I wasn't, I wasn't looking at it from the uh, point of view of a developer. I was just looking at it as a consumer. That's not wrong with having more choice. But but from the point of view of a dev, uh, your 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 quality indie game that you made is gonna get buried under just a glut of crap. That's true. That's yeah. true. I mean, even even from a consumer standpoint, uh, it, it becomes a point where you're you're. Uh, it's an uphill battle just to find a decent game. Yeah. Like, my quality indie game yeah. would be competing with Spring Cleaner. The <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, shit! Oh. Like, if I stay still, will he see me? You're... Probably only when you're specifically behind a log or a certain limited oh, area. I'm not sure, sure how that works. So, but yeah, that's true. By the way, like uh, everyone's uh, competing for for uh, for mind space, right? For eye space. Mm -hmm. Same uh, same tale, bigger scroll. Mm -hmm. Scroll. Mm -hmm. eh. huh? Oh, but, uh, what? Gosh dang it! Use the hiding spot. Well, yeah. Nope. Oh, not that one. Oh, he gave up. It's fine. Oh, he didn't. He didn't see anything, Rich. 
He didn't see anything. So have, you, have you played any of this? No. Oh my god. I, uh, maybe the first level. Oh my god. Everything about this is. Maybe a I played the first idea. level. <laughs> Gosh dang it. Every, you know, it's just something to, well, we'll put on in the background while we talk about uh, uh, the gl fucking. The glut of indie games, and uh, you know, it's, it is great to have choice. And fuck. Everyone likes choices, right? Yeah, yeah. So that's nice. These are the dumbest cops who have ever lived. Well, it's still pretty early on. Still fairly early on. This seems less mob hit and more Jason Voorhees aftermath. Ah, uh, maybe it's supposed to be. Shit. Crap. Can you hide with a body? Uh, I don't know. I don't think I will have to find out. I learned my lesson last time. Stay on this side of the trailer. There we go. Um, I don't know if there's a pro. I mean, like that, like for example, that indie game. That's the one you showed me. What was it called again? Uh, Tales of Blossom. Tales of Blossom. You know, just uh, uh, AKA Zelda. Uh, a link to the a past. A link to the past. A link to the past. In parentheses, no, really, a link to the past. But it's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. A link to the past with a uh, texture mod. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and, you know, I'm really happy for them that they found an audience on the Switch. Kind of defeats the purpose of a cleanup when the police are already there. I, I agree. Uh, no, are, are you kidding? I am, uh, I am getting rid of valuable material evidence. That's already been photographed. Yeah, they have photo observed and they have photographs, but it, well, they they can't get uh, DNA, fingerprints. You know, they didn't already. They probably already walked off with all the test tubes. Running, running, running. Fight. <laughs> they can't even put on an APB on your 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 your, your station wagon. Uh, maybe it was before they have APB. I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. All right. Yeah. Uh, so, if, but whoever said that this is gonna last thirty minutes, that was pretty generous of them. <laughs> so I think. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, oh, so uh, Nindies. Speaking of Nintendo Indies. Speaking yeah, yeah. Of, uh, of indie games on the Nintendo Switch, Rich. Yeah. Um, they just did the, uh, a little mini direct showcasing some Indies. Uh, and one, uh, I mean, uh, not of note for you, but one that you might be happy to hear about, seeing as that how people are buying on the Switch, is uh, they are bringing a Mark of the Ninja remastered. Okay. Well, how's, to, it, how's it different? Uh, remastered. What does that mean? Uh, uh, remastered. What does that mean? I have no idea. I have no idea what it means. See, I, I wish. Yeah. Just to, to simplify the gaming experience, I don't want 32 different consoles. Too bad. It's like if I if I don't need to have it on the Switch, if I could just keep as much shit as possible on my PC. Yeah. That's what I'm happy with. I don't know if I need it. No, that's and that's fair. You you might not need it. Uh, for you know, obviously many switch owners. Get out of here. Many switch owners want it. Rich consistently forgets that the switch is portable. No, I just don't give a shit that it's portable. Yeah, Rich doesn't care about portability. He doesn't do much. Outside of when the I'm, home. When I'm outside of the home, I'm probably there to do something specific like work or shop. Yeah. And I won't be playing video games. I don't I don't understand the portability. I don't get it. Right, and as as someone who is out quite a bit and has to, you know, like be out, wait somewhere for thirty minutes. And then, you know, go back home. Portability is, is fucking key. 
Rich, some people have a long commute to train each day. I'm not one of them! This isn't relative to me! It's not relevant! <laughs> I can only talk about my own experience! That's true. That's true, Rich. But you know, hopefully for Clay, they get a uh, they get a little uh, money bonus. They get a little little cash. People wanting to play a uh, want to play Switch games or play uh, their game on the Switch, right? That'd be nice. Waiting for Rich's rants about tampons since he doesn't need them. All right, here you go, because it's gonna be identical to my rant on the Switch. Sure. I don't see any use for it. Rich, do you want ta Rich, do you want tampons? Why don't you want tampons, Rich? I don't have any need for tampons. Why do you keep trying to sell me your tampons? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I, I, under I understand that other people have oh, used sure. for tampons. I suppose. Um. It. Well. I think the the what the issue here, Rich, is it's it's literally just a language problem. Which when you when you say I don't see a use for tampons, right? Yeah. Like clearly, you know what tampons are used for. <laughs> <laughs> but you personally don't have a use for tampons, and so like people might be getting confused. I think they're getting that, confused. That's their, that's their fault. Yeah, that's their problem. That's absolutely their problem. Shit. That's absolutely their problem. Rich, just do a rant on the game's terrible music. No, because I'd be playing it on mute while listening to something interesting. Can you hide while you're being pursued? Uh, probably. From what we've learned about the game so far, I would I would guess that that's true. I do have a Vita. I have a Vita that I have not touched since I got a since Isaac came to the Switch. I have not touched my Vita. Oh wait, no. You know what? That's not true. Um, I think uh, when Salt and Sanctuary came to the Vita, I pl I tried it a little bit on the Vita, mm -hmm. and it was all right. Okay. And it was all right. So you can't put bodies in hiding spots. I'm just I'm just assuming you can't. Oh. Nope. Okay. Shit. Uh, no. When if you have a body, apparently you cannot put it in a hiding spot. Yeah. Um. I wonder if they bring Salt and Sanctuary over to the Switch. Hey, Rich. If Mike wanted to spend the night in the woods to catch a Bigfoot, would you go with him? Well, for one, Mike would be in the woods looking for ghosts, not big feet. <laughs> Big feet aren't Mike's thing. Uh, uh, s <laughs> secondly, we'd probably be filming it for some reason. Yeah. And it would be it would be like work related. And so yes, I would go out in the woods and we'd make some kind of ghost hunting video. Yeah. And it would be amusing. So then you would go. So then I would go. Yes. Yeah. No, that makes sense. That actually makes a ton of sense. Jack, have you ever used the remote play feature of your Vita to play, say, Bloodborne somewhere else? Uh, I tried it when it first came out, yes. Uh, actually, for our that was a, a bit I cut out of our Bloodborne review. Uh, I did talk about that a little bit, and for something like Bloodborne, there the lag was um, 
I'd, I'd imagine the lag was something else. Was noticeable. Like, it wasn't terrible. But it was no like for Bloodborne it would never work. But I could see if you like uh if there was a turn based game. Yeah. Or a game where, you know Don't they just find the bodies at the base of the building? I, listen, this is the um this is the game. <laughs> this is what I have to do in the game. I can't I can't recode the game, you know? I rarely watch you guys live, but now I wish I wasn't so I could fast forward to a point where you're playing another game. <laughs> do, you, do you guys really care about the games we play that much? I mean, come on. We know what's up. We know what's up. You're here for the banter. Which is there anything remotely close to ghosts that you believe in? Um, uh, not really. No, I like... I like hearing other nuts talk about this kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah? yeah? Yeah. I guess it could be funny. Yeah. Ghost stories can be fun. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean I believe them, though. Sure. Yeah. Sure. That's fair. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a newspaper. That's a printing press. Yeah, it's an old newspaper building. A... This game plays in... The game takes place in 1972. Newspapers are still relevant. Hey! Hey! Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> ah, they're, you know, they're, 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 they're coming. They're, they're, they're not dead yet. They're not super dead. <laughs> they're, they're, they're like, you know, what do you call it? They're almost dead. <laughs> you know, the depressing. I would say they're depressing. G Grandpa got moved to the hospice. Yeah. So we all know it's coming. We all know it's coming. Just go visit. Go visit Grandpa. Go, go visit Grandpa every once in a while. He's, he's pretty close. Okay. 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 It's like, it's like that tailspin where you almost want to read a newspaper just because you feel pity for them, but the act of reading a newspaper in itself is depressing because they're dying, so you just hasten the doom of the newspaper. <laughs> Because you don't want to even touch a newspaper because it's so depressing thinking about all those people who are going to lose their jobs. <laughs> eh, you know, I still, uh, I still read some uh, articles here and there, you know. Yeah. And then all news will be just some asshole with a blog and news will be useless. <laughs> oh, that's the real sense. That is real. That is the future. Useless news. Eh, you know. This is why news is like top ten list or... Or compiled lists of other people's tweets. <laughs> and you know, it's the craziest part is like there is some like breaking legitimate news coming out of you know BuzzFeed. It gets crazy. There's still some legitimate papers out there. There's still some legitimate investigative reporting. For now. For now, yeah. <laughs> For now. When, when everything's a blog, that's out the window. Eh, you know, it, no, it won't be. There will still be investigative reporting. Just no one will hear about it because it's some blog you've never heard of. Okay. Okay. And then, the, and then we'll come up with some sort of news aggregation network that brings them all together. It'll, yeah, it'll be fine. Certain objects can be moved. Do you, I mean, do you remember Watergate? Well, you, we don't. We we weren't around. We were but I mean, we know of Watergate. You know, yeah. I mean. God, was the press super relevant back then, or what? Newspapers brought down a president. Well, they're working on it. <laughs> they're working on it a second time. <laughs> it just takes a little longer now. Everything does. Hey, can I move back? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know. And this time, you know, it won't be newspapers. It'll be some guy who worked for a Facebook data aggregation conglomerate. <laughs> and it'll just... It, same thing, different, different, uh, different time. Same shit, different time, and that's fine. Yeah, clean it up. 
Okay. Jack, you do know that Trump is going to get reelected, right? I have hope. You ho- do I've, know that's going to happen. I, st- I continue to have hope in my heart. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm going to. I I want you to be prepared. I I'm going to continue to have hope in my heart. I know you're not going to take it well. I know, no. but it's going to happen. I'm hope. I, I can always be hopeful. The midterms have been pretty good to uh, the or the special elections have been pretty good to uh, Democrats, uh, especially progressives. And uh, you know I'm gonna continue to have hope in my heart. And uh, yeah, but by the time the presidential elections roll around, it'll be time for the reverse, reverse uh, outrage. No, it'll be fine. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. I'm gonna continue to have hope in my heart. We can do this. We can do this, America. We got the popular vote last time. We can get the electoral college on our side this time. It'll be fine. Hillary's going to run again, and she's still going to smell like onions to the voters. Oh, and then Trump's going to get in again. It'll be a rematch. It'll be fine. It's and it'll fine. play out exactly the same. Oh, it's not going to be Hillary. It'll be fine. <laughs> Everything's going to be fine. Hope. Hope, Rich. Hope. Be the change you want to see. It's going to be great. How about you vote Rich, then talk smack? How about you go fuck yourself? <laughs> Rich is just being funny. It's okay, guys. It's okay. Rich is being funny. Rich is, Rich is, uh, he's talking funny. Everything's fun. Uh, everything's fun in games. No, it'll be fine. I, I, I believe, I believe in us as a people. You know, less so than I did before, but I still, there's... Oh, shit. Uh, what? Oh, okay, I hate this game. Uh, uh, as a, a surprise to no one. As a surprise to no one, I hate this game. Where are we at? Where, Where are, are we, we at? Rich, we're, we're at the corner of hope and change. Where are you? <laughs> Reality. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was a nice one. That was a nice one. That was a hey. Good one for Rich. <laughs> Mead wins, says. <laughs> 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 Jack, you're going mad. Uh, it's been a long day. It's been a long day, and I'm playing a shitty game. What? You, what's? Uh, what's the? Uh... Mead wins. Says, here is some money for you plebs to spend on cleaning supplies. Also, have either of you played the game Steve Jackson's Sorcery? It's a great old school adventure game in four chapters. Have not. I've never. I've never even heard of it. Nope. Sorry. If that's an important game to you. But no, I've not heard of... I've not even heard of that. Steve Jackson's... What was it called? Uh, Steve Jackson's Sorcery. Oh. Steve Jackson's Sorcery. No. no. Mead Wins goes on to say another tip. Says... Okay. I asked about sorcery since I figured after seeing you fellows playing Space Quest that it'd be the type of game you'd enjoy. Oh, I mean, possibly. Have a code for chapters one and two if you'd fancy trying it out. Okay. What do you think, Rich? What? Well, what, what 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 do we know about Steve uh, Steve I, Harvey's? I just know two tips. Steve have mentioned it by Steve, name. Steve Harvey's adventure. Uh, Steve Jackson. I, I'd prefer Steve Harvey's ad- adventures. You know, you're hosting the feud. You're hosting the feud, and just. You know, slightly racist, little, re- little overtly religious, quasi sexist. Nothing terrible, but you know, <laughs> that's Steve. J- nothing, you know, nothing like. Not, I'm not a huge fan, but of whatever. Steve Harvey. Yeah. No, no, that's why I'm. That's why I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm hassling him a little bit in here. Uh.
he makes goofy faces. That's his job. That's that's his. Uh... And presumably a scripted family feud. Oh God! Right? Yeah. yeah. Name ten body parts, and then someone says butt, and he goes, "Oh, I can't believe yeah. you said butt." Yeah. Holy Jesus! <laughs> yeah. There you go, guys. By the way, I'm leaving previously recorded to become a writer on Family Feud. <laughs> they just um. <laughs> They just saw me improv that bit, and they were super impressed. <laughs> oh my god, we didn't even think about that. That was the the produ production and team of Family Feud. Fuck. I hate this game. Uh, yeah. Which is worse, Steve Harvey or Louis Anderson? Well, Louis Anderson. In what? For Family Feud? Uh, well, just f as a person? <laughs> eh, maybe Steve Harvey? I don't know. What do, what do we know about Louis Anderson? That weird gay sex scandal thing where he came on to someone underage or something weird like uh, that? Oh, well then, Louis Anderson. Oh, I didn't even know about that. Yeah. I don't know if they were underage or just somebody proposition that was unwilling and creeped out by it. Oh, uh, It sure. could have been. Sure. I don't know. The, I don't remember the details. It, I know it was a whole thing, though. It's possible he might be a creepy creepo. Yeah. Gotcha. He was trying to pressure some man into sex. Oh. That's not cool, Louis. That's not cool. <gasps> Get it together, Louis Anderson. Now this is this is where I'm, I'm misremembering it. It turns out it was someone else, and I'm completely slandering Louis Anderson. What if you? Were? That's that's entirely what possible. What if you were totally slandering Louis Anderson? <laughs> we're gonna get sued, Rich. We might. We might. <laughs> we can't this, handle this. This whole section might be muted on YouTube. Yay! <laughs> uh, I'm, gonna do some, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something I never thought I would do. <laughs> Oh no! I I I am going to Google Louis Anderson sex scandal. You don't. You, I I have to now. You don't want to see those I, pictures. I, 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 we we I need we need to fact check. What if pictures exist? First result, Louis Anderson's sex extortion case closed. Uh, is that a positive closed? I don't know. Okay. Click on it. I'm, I'm clicking. You're getting put on a list, man. <laughs> well, You're it's not my laptop, so technically you're being put on a list. Damn it! <laughs> uh, Lock me out! Lock me out! <laughs> Log me out, man! <laughs> Get out of town! <laughs> Alright, what do we know about Louis Anderson? Boy, I'm trying to scroll the screen with a screwy laptop. <clears throat> Life with Louis got a tad easier Monday, when the man who tried to extort thousands from funny guy Louis Anderson was shipped off to federal prison. Appearing in U.S. District Court in Los Angeles, Richard John Gordon, 31, of Mesa, Arizona, was sentenced Monday to 21 months at a federal penitentiary for trying to extort hundreds of thousands of dollars from the Family Feud host in exchange for not telling tabloids that Anderson asked him for sex. So All right, that's, a, that's a little bit less sleazy than I was thinking. Well, no, so Anderson was just like, yeah. hey, dude, want a bone? And the guy's like, I'm going to... So, no, some guy was being a dickhead and went to jail for it. Okay. So Louie wasn't being a dickhead at all. So now we gotta, we got to mute that whole section on You YouTube. got that... Well, no, because... Oh, yeah. You know what? Rich, <laughs> you made a mistake. You did some fact-checking. <laughs> and now you admitted the mistake. That's great. That's how it works. That's how life works. We need We need that part so we can keep this part in. Now just just keep in mind what Louis Anderson looks like. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know what Louis Anderson looks like, right? Yeah, now. I can, I'm picturing him. I don't like that I'm picturing him, but I'm picturing him. Why, yeah. Gordon claimed Anderson approached him at a Southern California casino in 1993. Okay. Anderson purportedly asked Gordon to go home with him and strip down and let Anderson touch him. Okay. I, it's just ugh. Louis Anderson. Some, you, you, I mean, you, come on, man. Everybody needs a little. Everybody le- needs a little junk touching, Rich. Even Louis Anderson. You're a healthy young gay guy. You can do better than Louis Anderson. You know, maybe maybe he, maybe the guy he propositioned wasn't that young and healthy. <laughs> we don't know what Louis's into, man. <laughs> maybe everyone needs their junk touched just a little bit. Louis was just looking for love. Whole story could be a lie, though. And I remember seeing some kind of interview with Louis Anderson, and where he basically said, "Yeah, it was the thing that happened." He said, "Straight, I was drunk." I think is what he tried to claim. Sure, sure. So is Lou is Louis saying that he ain't gay, or that he didn't proposition that guy? Uh, no, I think he was saying he propositioned it, but he was just going public about the blackmail because it was costing him a lot of money. Yeah, he was being, he was being blackmailed for a while. This is going on. Like he was giving this guy money. Oh. And then he just wanted even more money gotcha. after already extorting a bunch of money out of Louis Anderson. Gotcha. And Louis Anderson, fuck it, I'm going to the cops. Yeah. Good on you, Louis Anderson. Yeah. Okay, so some guy was being a dickhead. Louis, you know, looking yeah, for love. So, I guess, yeah. Oh, no, he's looking uh, for love. Yeah, yeah. Nothing wrong. Louis did nothing wrong in this situation. Well, the only thing he did wrong was not report the guy earlier, right? But, you know. Well, he had a cartoon show on yeah, Fox. Yeah, 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 yeah. You don't want that gay sex scandal coming out when you're starring in a cartoon show on, on Saturday mornings. That's true. These were the 90s. These Li- were, Life with Louis was a thing. These were the 90s. Ellen wasn't even out yet or maybe just coming out. We did, It was a different time. What are you? Ah, that'll make it easier. Different time, man. Rich, it's not illegal. To be- That's why I'm apologizing to Louis Anderson. Yeah. <laughs> Rich made a mistake, and now and he looked it up, and now he's saying like, "Oh, is this, uh, is this how world works, man?" He's doing a good- Rich is doing a good job. We need to applaud. We need to applaud what is happening here. This is the problem with just being accused of something. Because yeah. your brain just remembers, wasn't that the guy involved with that sex scandal thing? And you don't remember the details, the resolution. Y- your name just gets sullied. Oh, until so someone Googles it. Then it's all unsullied. Hmm. Again, the importance of quality investigative reporters. That's so, why I wanted to fact someone, check. <laughs> someone had to write this story down. I just remember there was someone there's some kind of Louis Anderson sex scandal. I don't remember the details. I don't know. It's got to be Louis. <laughs> it's got. <laughs> that's, that, that's on you, Rich. That's, <laughs> don't don't look. You ask somebody about the uh, Duke lacrosse team, and they'll say, weren't they those rapists? And uh, no, it was a whole thing. They were falsely accused. Sure, yeah. But all, all, all people remember is the accusation. Yeah, but it works the other way, too, right? Does it? What's the other way? Uh, that dude who was raping the girl and then got off because uh, the, the judge didn't want to, like, ruin his future, even though he was caught, like... Forcibly, like, getting on someone who but was passed out. People remember him, though, as the jerk who got people off because about the it. judge was wrong. Yeah. Yeah, so what's what's worse? Look, he, he may have deserved it. I'm just saying, you get associated with a sex scandal, it's never good. I'm saying what's worse, being a... Being a uh, 
Oh, that what? doesn't sh that doesn't cover there. Gosh dang it. I dislike this game very much. Shit. I dislike this game very much. I don't like playing it. Stop on Star Trek, he says, quickly changing the subject. I think we're there. What Star Trek? Changing the subject. Oh, <laughs> I was like Star Trek. We're in. We're in Star Trek. Okay, ready. Ready for. Uh, yeah. Ready for. How about some video game news? Well, how about some video game news on our video game live stream? Okay. Uh, uh, Epic, the the makers of the the very popular Unreal, uh, Unreal Engine and Fortnite and all that fun stuff, uh, tried to make a. Uh, Maybe a MOBA, or it was... They tried to make a game, and it failed. It's called Paradigm. Yeah. You ever hear that game? No. Paradigm, Paradigm. I forget, I forget the actual name of it. Anyway, it was a big failure. Yeah. They tried to push this... Uh, it was like a MOBA, or... Well, it was one of those fucking games, right? And they said, Ah, oh, fuck, man. Our game is a huge failure. No one's playing our game. we got to shut it, shut it down. But we made all this shit for it, like character designs, and level designs, and outfits, and animations. And we, we put... A shit ton of work into all the sh all the assets yeah. to the game, and because you know they also make <clears throat> the Unreal Engine, they said, "Well, how about this? Anyone who uses the Unreal Engine, you can just use all these assets." Okay, that's really nice. Yeah, I think that's a great. That was that was. A, I mean, obviously, it's not full uh, purely altruistic because they have you know like oh use our they engine. make money from right. the Unreal Engine. Yes, sure. But I just thought that was a really. Uh, I, I thought that was a classy and. Good marketing tactic. A classy move and a good marketing tactic. Okay. Okay. So. So I was like, yeah, neat. Classy. Can I get rid of the body already? Maybe. So how do they end up beating id Software in the whole video game engine deal? How did they end up? Yeah. Um, it's, uh, pure, pure, uh, pure numbers. It's really easy to port Unreal games to different platforms. Uh, it's easy to, they, they figured out the coding language side of it, where, yeah, get fucked. Heh <laughs> you're trapped now, copper. <laughs> get fucked. Um... It is apparently crazy easy to to bring uh, Unreal games to uh, different consoles, different different operating systems, and uh, and according to game makers, it's also fucking don't what? do it, don't come over here. You're gonna come. What? Nice. You are what is called lucky. That was incredibly lucky, but I will take it. Uh, you know, so they, they, they figured out the game. The game is get it on, make it easy, make it easy for your designers, and, uh, make it easy to port to different devices. Motherfucker, I'm trapped up here. Atomic Mousetraps says, Rich, I am floored that Mike didn't have you in a white sheet ghost costume for the Demon House review. Did he even pitch that idea? No. I have not seen Demon House, so I don't get the relevance. So I'm kind of lost. But this is not a thing that happened, nope. Well, just, you know, demon house, you're a ghost, I don't know. I don't know, man. I didn't see demon house either, that's... Uh... Gentleman Bears says, Last week, somebody in chat suggested the band King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. Yes. I had to check them out just based on that name alone. Very and I found a new favorite band. Hey. Great psychedelic rock band. There you go. There you go. King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. He did it. Whoever shared that piece of info, you did it. Congratulations. Anonymous says, Have you signed a non-disclosure agreement with Trump? Then he may have stupidly broken it to find out if you should sue to be released and sell your story for money. Consult a lawyer. Any lawyer. Okay? Okay. 
Mead Wins says sorcery. Did, did, did Mead Wins? Did you make Steve Jackson sorcery? <laughs> which, which is by, by the way, if you did, <laughs> that's fine. We've actually played fan-made games before. Like, but don't try to be like I've heard of this really great game. It never works out. Sorcery is a fantasy story based on one of those choose-your-own-adventure books released in the 1980s. The game reminded me a lot of the Sierra Quest series. How send Steam code to you, plubs? Def they definitely, they definitely made it. Mead Wynn says, here is some money to make up for me ranting on about sorcery to you guys. Yep. Can you ever forgive me? Oh, holy hack frauds. Definitely, Ooh. definitely that person made it. Which is fine. Like like I said, that's totally fine. <laughs> it definitely made the game. But yes. you definitely made the game. <laughs> Next time, just be like, hey, I made a game. <laughs> Do you guys want to play the game I made? Because, you know, I made a game. <laughs> Bye, kappa. Encephalopathetic says, here's a reward for fact-checking live on stream. You did it. Yeah. You did it, Rich. I'm so you know what? I'm sad I, I, I let out misinformation in the first place. You know? That's not cool. That's not cool, Rich. But more important than that, you did your due diligence. Hey, I Ray, remember that thing I heard? Oh, I heard about that thing. <laughs> <laughs> but then instead of just leaving it there, <laughs> you went the extra mile. And so, hey, by the way, to wrap that up in a nice little bow, yeah. I think Steve Harvey's worse. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> 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 just in general. <laughs> that cinched it, and Steve Harvey is worse. <laughs> nice job, Jack. Do what I can, Rich. I do what I can! Do, 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 do. Next time, do due diligence before speaking out. Sometimes you can't. You just you, you talk, man. We all talk. We're all talkers. We're all just here to talk all the talky things. Shit. Fuck. 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 Yep. 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 <clears throat> One says, Jack. Jack. I've been wondering something for a while. I'm Jack. Sometimes you seem to go out of your way to avoid cursing. Other times it's fuck city. Yeah. Is this intentional? Love the stream. LOL. Fully mission capable. It's just however I'm feeling. I, I have no problem with cussing. Uh, uh, I, in fact, enjoy cussing quite a bit. Uh, but. Let's, let's say you didn't want to swear. I mean. Yeah. The man has children. Yeah, and they know all the cusses now, but for a while we were trying to, you know... <laughs> we were trying to keep the cusses from them. Doesn't the cop in the car see you? No, I, I moved the car. He Doesn't should... the cop think it's weird? There's cars moving on his... I, I, yeah, I, he, and I, he, I mean, he should... If anything, he should just see me, like, through the windows. You know. But, hey, what are you going to do? What are you gonna do, man? Yeah. Gonna win at the game. That's what we're gonna do. So, you know, I, sometimes I just think it's funnier to say "gosh darn," you know. Yeah. And, and sometimes I feel like like cussing. What are you gonna do about it? Nothing is the answer. You're gonna do goddamn nothing about it.
Oh, I see. I see what I got to do. Oh, fuck. He heard me through the wall. He heard me through the wall. Sometimes the bleeping is funnier. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yep, you know what's up. Okay, nothing to see here. Easy peasy, Japanesey says... Your lucky mic doesn't edit these rich, but the whole video of this stream on YouTube would be you making false accusations. Mead wins, says, I wish I made sorcery, but I have no talent whatsoever in making games. I'm just one of those passionate type of plebs. I also like the word pleb. I, we noticed. Can I send the code through Steam or something? Uh, I, yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be, I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Yeah. Unless it absolutely looks amazing for some reason. Okay. We're probably not going to play it. Oftentimes we don't. There's just so many things to play that, you know, you, you run out of time. You yes. Run, you run out of things to play. If you would like to send us the code, uh, you can do so, you know, prereq at redlettermedia.com. Is that one of them, our emails? That's one of them, our emails. You send us that them there email. Those electronic mails. Yep. That the kids are talking about. All the kids and Thor are talking about them. Why are you? Why is it that you're playing this game? Apparently because it's spring. It's spring and spring cleaning, and I'm a cleaner. You get it? You get it? You get it. Rich, have you seen the compilation of people missing 100% shots in XCOM 2? <coughs> first things first. Yeah. A lot of people play XCOM. A lot of people probably have streamed XCOM. Yeah. When you have numbers that high, you're going to have the few times it happens on, on, on camera, on how, video. How can you miss 100% shot? The way the game calculates hit percentages, it's it, it rounds up. But basically, the, sh the chance to hit was probably like 99.6. Oh. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, but, but the display rounds up. They don't have a decimal point. But really, there was a, like a 0 .04 chance to miss. Sure. Oh, that that must have been infuriating. I, am, I imagine it is. I've, he I've heard of it. It's never happened to me. Okay. So... It's never happened to you. It ought to truncate at ninety nine then. I I actually agree. Yeah, that's a, that's a <clears throat> that's a poor design choice right there. <laughs> yeah, you know, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Play a different game? Well, yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. I'm going to play a different game. Don't, don't worry. I'm going to play a different game. Come over here. There we go. That's what I wanted you to do. I need to ask a flick question. In the Wolf of Wall Street review, how many of those burgers did you actually eat? There's, there's a big spit bucket right next to me. I think I actually ate one of them. <laughs> Basically, what you do is you go, oh, mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Oh, mm, 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 mm. 
That's a, that's a Hollywood term right there. Spit bucket. Rich. <laughs> Now in Hollywood, there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, meaning behind words, like you know, like the, they have they have certain technical words that that mean something, right? Like if you put something on sticks, they want it on a tripod. Okay, okay. Uh, if you Hollywood a shot, it's actually someone holding a light, not on a light stand. They have different names for light stands. So what is a spit bucket? I think it's just a spit bucket. What is a spit bucket? Is, yeah. it, is this a thing? That's what I'm asking you. Like, oh, I don't know. Because you know, a lot of people like they come to us because we know a lot about filmmaking. They they want to know what a spit bucket is. It's called a food spittoon. Okay, okay, all right, I'm with you. The uh, the correct the <laughs> answer I was looking for. What I was hoping you'd come back with is, oh, it's a bucket you spit in. That's what I was hoping for. I was set. I was setting you up for like, oh, the big, the big term for the spit bucket. That's that's you're making a lot of assumptions, Jack. <laughs> I only Jack. Here's your flaw. Here's the flaw in your reasoning. I only make clever puns. <laughs> oh, that, 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 that wasn't a pun. <laughs> I, I that wasn't a pun. That was I don't a, know what that was. That was a, a U-turn. A U-turn <laughs> joke. <laughs> oh, lots of lots of new f big fangled definition for for simple words. So what's a spit bucket? Yeah. It's, a, it's a bucket you spit in. And and the one I ate didn't have all of the butter on it. <laughs> the one I the one I actually swallowed parts of. Oh. Butter. I don't know this one. Tetris Geek has a joke in the chat. Tetris Geek! A fireman, a lawyer, and a priest are on a plane that's about to crash. The fireman says, we have to save the children. The lawyer says, fuck the children. The priest says, do we have time? Ha! Ah. <laughs> I like that joke! It's a good joke. It's a fine joke. It's a fine joke. It's a fine joke. <laughs> no, uh, you know what? Nothing wrong with that joke. Nothing wrong with that joke there. I get it. Get it! Valiant Bloodshot says, Hey guys! Hey, Rich. Did you see the trailer for the new Karate Kid YouTube Red series, Cobra Kai? Nope. It's 34 years later, LaRusso has become a prick, and Johnny is restarting the Cobra Kai dojo. I've seen it. I know people don't like it because uh, Danny seems like kind of a prick. That's a fine take on it. Like, yeah. it's... It's been 30 years. Maybe the bully, the kid who was a bully when he was a kid, maybe he's grown up and he's mature. Okay. <clears throat> so that's what it's about? It's about the, the bully kid? Yeah. All right. Well, supposedly about both of them, but... I mean, the relationship's not exactly the same as it was 30 years ago where he just picks on Danny for, like, decades. <laughs> so... Oh, right. <laughs> Is it the original actors? Yeah. Oh, how fun. Starring Bob Loblaw? They got Bob Loblaw? It's a character Scott Bayo did on Arrested Development. His name was Bob Loblaw. I'm, I'm lost. Bob Loblaw, and he was a lawyer. Call Bob Loblaw. <laughs> it's the character that oh Scott Bayo did on. Oh my god. What does Scott Bayo have to do with any of this? Wasn't he the Karate Kid? Ralph Macchio. Oh my god. <laughs> I was wondering what the fuck you're talking about. Scott Bayo playing a character called Bob Blah Blah is. <laughs> Did I know that? <laughs> no. 
Did I know that those were two different people? <laughs> Rich, I'm not sure I understood that the Karate Kid and Charles in charge were two different people. <laughs> Yes, they're two entirely different people. I, j I really, I honestly don't know if in my brain I knew that. <laughs> I'm trying to think now. I j uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I might have messed up some things in my life, Rich. <clears throat> Specifically some Ralph Macchio, Scott Baio things. Wait, so who was Bob Blah Blah? Was that Ralph Macchio? I or? have no idea who Bob Blah Blah is. Oh, I'm sorry, that was for the chat. <clears throat> chat, was that Scott Bayo or was that Ralph Macchio? I don't think Ralph Macchio went on to do much else. Uh, that's possible. Scott Bayo tried to have a career for a while. I think Ralph Macchio was mostly just the Karate Kid kid. Okay. <clears throat> so then it was probably Scott Bayo. There's a few other things. Wasn't he in, like, uh, the one with Patrick Swayze, The Outsiders? Oh, was he? Was it? Oh, uh, uh. <laughs> or is that? Or is that Scott Bayo? <laughs> aha! Aha! See, Rich did it too. You can't be Oh, yeah, my cousin Vinny. Oh, he's in a few things. Oh, yeah, there you go. Land Academy Award winning My Cousin Vinny. <laughs> Put Ralph Macchio on that sex scandal. Yes! Something about Pony Boys. So, oh. Yeah. Ooh, I, I didn't look into it at all, and I'm completely misremembering of that. Oh, that probably wasn't good. <laughs> Something about Pony Boys. <laughs> that could be the name of a book. <laughs> probably is the name of a book. Those, like, Amazon self-published books. Something about Pony Boys. Hiding in a bush. <clears throat> so, has the chant said who blah 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 was? Blah blah blah? No. Nobody knows what you're talking about. The chat knows what I'm talking about. They watched Arrested Development. What are, what are our thoughts on Deep Space Nine as opposed to Next Gen? They're, they're really different beasts. Somewhat similar feel, but... For a while, until you get to the later seasons of Deep Space Nine... Yeah, this is more of a rich question. You're a Star Trek guy. Uh, I like Next Gen, but I gave up on... Uh, I gave up on DS9 because it was so different. I probably I probably watched maybe... Shit. There's, there's episodes every now and then that feel TNG-ish. Sure. I probably made it... I probably made it half a season in Deep Space Nine. Maybe a full season. But that was coming right off of next gen. It's 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 different, but it's not bad. You should probably you should probably give it a second chance. As, as an adult, I might enjoy it. Uh, yeah, I might. There's another. Oh yeah, it's right. I don't know if I can agree with all you people saying Deep Space Nine was a better show. Next Gen is <clears throat> really I, I, I good. Can't, I can't agree with that. Next Gen is really good.
that next gen. I don't have a ton of experience with deep space, but next gen is pretty darn good. Know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying. <clears throat> I think Deep Space Nine has the problem a lot of epic stories have, where the seven years of, of, of hype, you just, you can't make a conclusion that lives up to seven years of hype. Oh. So it, you, it, you can't do it. Gotcha. I'm with you. But there's a lot of goodness in there. I like the conclusion besides the complete schlock with Ducat and Kai win. But isn't that the stuff that was most important they got right? <laughs> case it's deep space nine is not a good starting point for trek <laughs> we can all we can all agree on that Del uh, deliri something in chat i was looking over deliri something in chat has, has something i can speak to uh it, the the gist of the comment which uh you know i couldn't read fully because our chat is now on a very tiny screen mm -hmm. uh, oh yeah was uh, was was uh, was wondering about Overwatch, uh, knowing that I'm a because I'm a big fan of Overwatch. They're like, what's what's the deal with Overwatch and all of the people who like ask, you know, which character is, uh, uh, you know, which uh, why are all the Overwatch characters? Why are why are people making blogs about like these two characters are in a relationship and these two characters are in a re relationship and. It's a, a big deal in the Overwatch community, talking about ba basically talking about which character fucks. Yeah, like that's what it's all about. And uh, my only answer to that is that is every single community. This has been happening since <laughs> Kirk and Spock. <laughs> <laughs> that's literally the start of it. Um, it's a it's a uh, it's a thing called shipping, and it's when you make up relationships for characters it's, in a show. It's silly. Huh? It's silly. People, fans, man, you can't control them. You can't control them. Uh, so why even try? Uh, and it, it's it's not just the Overwatch community. It's every fucking community. And there's no stopping it. I just try to ignore it because yeah, it does, it gets a little it gets a little um, excessive. It gets a little excessive. The, the shippers of Overwatch. But hey, you know, if that's how they're having fun in the game, yeah, you go you you do you. Oop. You do you. However however you have fun with your given Are you a, a ladder? What? Oh, is that how I hide the bodies? I throw them in the piranha tank? Ah, oh, that's cute. That's cute. Shit, shit, except for when I get caught. Can I reach the hideout in time? We lost him anyway. Oh, well, then there you go. Ooh. So, yeah, you know, I know in, like, there's... There's always there's always new when new a new character just got introduced in Overwatch and so of course there's new people going like well who are they fucking because that's what they care about but hey yeah, people are enjoying it let them enjoy it Ooh. 
That's right, there was there was shipping within half in the bag, and they turned it into a storyline. The Mr. Plinkett J. A pocket death trap says, here's five dollars for introducing me to Slay the Spire of Arc. And in turn breaking my addiction to freemium hearthstone. Oh. It's so nice not having to pay to get cards. Oh You're welcome. yeah. Oh yeah, by the way. I get it, Hearthstone. You want that money. You want that that cash. Blizzard wants that cash. This this looks exactly as fun as Party Hard. Yes, it is exactly as fun as Party Hard. And if everyone remembers Party Hard, it wasn't that fun. It's just not. It's just not very good at all. Uh, <laughs> I do not recommend it, and I'm very sorry uh, to anyone uh, who worked on the game or whatnot. It's, yeah, it might be fine. Fine distraction for some people, but I'm not digging it. How long are you going to keep on with this shit? Uh, what the hell, what's our uptime at? I don't know, but it's eight. It's eight? It's eight. Mother trucker? I know. I know. Um, someone uptime us, please. Hey, what about that other guy? Bring you over there. Come on. Don't you hear that? Don't you hear that, cop? Yeah, no, we started late. One hour and twelve minutes. Oh, well, then I can give up. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine giving up. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna see if I can defeat this level. And then I'm totally out. I'm <clears throat> Do you want to play Overwatch, Jack? Uh, no, not necessarily tonight. I do want to play Overwatch, and actually, I haven't been playing Overwatch. There's a Rich. There's a new hero. Why don't you stream Overwatch? Uh, because that's like a my game. It's like a me game. It's like yeah, a, but it's, like, it's a multiplayer thing. You play with other people anyway. Yeah, but that's like a game I play just for me. All right. You know? like, that's, oh, that's, that's fun. I, like, I get it. I, I know get you get it. it. That's like the game that I play. No, I play it's like, with... It's like me and Dishonored. I get it. Mm -hmm. No, in fact, I actually I play with people, you know, from chat all the time who are now my friends on uh, on, on Blizznet or whatever it's called. Uh, but there's a new hero in Overwatch, uh, Brigitte, or however you pronounce her name. Uh -huh. Bridget. It's Bridget. Let's just call her Bridget. I've seen things in the chat about her. Like, one of the... I think... Is she overpowered? Uh, she, she's a new hero, and she is a hev- oh, fuck, fuck, I'm gonna fail, I'm gonna fail, I'm gonna fail, I'm gonna fail, I failed. Why are you running that way? Uh, cause it was the way I ran, and, uh, she, she's a heavy healer class, and she looks dominating. Yeah. And so, you know, already heavies are hard to kill, but now she's a heavy that can create extra shields. Uh, I haven't had I have not had a chance to play with her yet, but I really want to because I love playing as heavies and I love playing as support characters as healers. Uh, so I I'm looking forward to playing as her, but I haven't played as her yet. Okay, why not? Uh, because of you. What? Rich, it's your fault. <laughs> why is this my fault? A little bit ago, I brought in my PS4 and I played a little Bloodborne because I had a little Bloodborne yeah. itch. And I was like, you know, I'll play a little Bloodborne on stream, get it out of my system. And I did, oh, you know, we had a great time, played some Bloodborne on my I system. I brought it right back. And then you brought it back <laughs> another week <laughs> and got that, like, I was pretty satisfied with my <laughs> bloodborne in, right? <laughs> right. And then you got that little bit further where it's like, oh, yeah, I remember that part. Oh, yeah, I remember that part. <laughs> And then I had to start my Bloodborne character all over again with a strength build. So I've been playing nothing but Bloodborne at home. I'm sorry. Then again, I'm not sorry. <laughs> like the other night, I had a, a completely free night. I had a couple hours and, and I was just like, I can just do whatever I want. Lisa was out. So it's like, all right, let's play some video games. Bloodborne. Like that was classic right. Overwatch time, but no, it was Bloodborne time. Uh, here's here's what I will say. Though I had significantly more cheesing, 
Uh, I also defeated the Bloodstar Beast in one, nice. in one life. Nice. I was pretty happy with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But I, I cheesed really <laughs> that's, hard. That's What was your cheese? Uh, I, I got him pinned behind uh, one of the little statues. Okay, okay. And so I was able to just kind of parry and then do uh, lunging attacks. So. I found the, the little pungent blood cocktails. They, they work wonders for just getting them off your ass for sure. a bit so you can heal up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. that was my strat. Uh, I am now, though, stu a little stuck on uh, on Amelia, on Vicar Amelia. I don't know what it is. Mm -hmm. First two or three times I had to fight Amelia, I didn't have that many problems with her. Mm -hmm. Th that's That's gone. Sure. I don't know. Maybe you fought her earlier, maybe you fought her later. I don't know. I'm having some difficulties with her right now. Uh, I got, I've gotten close a couple times, and I've, I've only faced her four times, and I've come close a couple times. But and um, the chat might be interested in this. Uh, I, I had an accident. Yeah. I told you about it earlier. Okay. Uh, I accidentally killed Eileen the Crow. I was going through her storyline, and she told me about you, the hunter, and I, as as you the monster, chat, as the chat might know, uh, the, for this run through, uh, I'm playing. Uh, I have two conditions for my run through this time. Uh, I must be shirtless, and uh, and I can only use my hammer. <laughs> what? That's my that's my condition. All right. <laughs> just for, just for me. I, 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 okay. <laughs> Yeah, whatever, man. In my head, in my head, my character who who wields the mighty hammer has to be shirtless. <laughs> but he, but he, he looks like a 1800s dentist. Yes. <laughs> he, no, he's like he's a he's a strong man boxer. Is my I named him Burly. I I, I had the exact same. But character. he's not. Huh? But, but he's not. I know because they can't be. They can't be Burly. He's. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I I was helping Eileen with with her her hunt, and apparently I I accidentally hit her with my hammer as I was dealing the finishing blow to our foe to our hunter foe, and I accidentally killed Eileen. I feel I, really bad about you it. You should. That's that's restart, man. That's restart the game. I wanted to. I I I really like. I immediately hit the uh the start button and exited the game <laughs> hoping that it didn't save yet yeah but it did yeah you got fucked and then i was thinking about restarting but i have a really decent build and i've been doing all right <laughs> i've been doing all right here and there so I'm, I, i've kept moving forward okay i've kept moving. okay forward. you've accepted your mistake and you moved on that's commendable I mean, Jack. What that is do? commendable what are you gonna do you know okay we're gonna turn that right off then we are going to go over here. Shagahad 1897 says, Hey guys, now that people know what you guys look like, has there been any talk of doing a panel at Wizard World, other local cons, etc.? Also, uh, you know what? I'm not reading the last bit just because I completely disagree. Why don't you read the, the end part of that tip? This one? Um, there has been any talk of a panel of Wizard World, other local cons, etc. Also, the Last Jedi rules. Okay. <laughs> I, I can. I, I, mean, I agree with that. Uh, no, no panel talk. I just agree with that. Uh, all right, 